All right, this week uh, inmates at the Dallas County Jail embraced a creative outlet to share stories from their past, often woven with a lot of trauma. Channel 8 Sebastian Robertson has a rare look inside the jail's female unit. Lakeisha Harris is back behind bars. My drug choice was crack cocaine. It take you down some real rough roads. Drug use that in her case was fueled by pain. Six years ago, Harris's three-month-old daughter died in her sleep, a death that was ruled an accident. Even though I wasn't charged legally, I charged myself. I blamed myself, and it hurt. Today, the Kays Tower of the Dallas County Jail is all about her and hitting it head on. Like pieces of a shattered glass are also the things of my past. One after another, inmates recited original poetry. Is it because my dad was in prison most of my life and she had to work all the time to take care of us? It's all part of a program called Resolana. I am worthy. I am sane. I am learning to live once again. Put on by the volunteers of America, Texas. I'm just like you. The women don't get reduced sentences or preferential treatment for participating. Instead, it's an opportunity for intensive therapy an attempt to address root issues that lead to incarceration. And when I came into the Rosalana program, it um, started bringing me back to life, so to speak. From poetry to plays to artwork, the true success of the program is seen not in the products they produce, rather the tears of the women who create. Some of us come from good backgrounds. It was just we made bad choices. So it brought us to a place that we had to sit down and figure things out. Harris, as with many of her fellow inmates, will be out in coming months. It taught me how to feel again, and that's what I like about the program. Her plan is to leave pain in jail and never come back to it. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.